be a lot easier. So also here on the sitemap overview, we can see our homepage is now done. And the next page we're gonna work on is our blog page. So when we go to the example site and click on the blog page, then we can see what the page is gonna look like. And we don't actually need to design a lot here because it's already pre-designed by our theme and WordPress. So we're gonna have all the blog posts here. And then we're also gonna create this sidebar with a search bar, an about me section, a newsletter section, and the recent post section, and then also so some social media links. So let's go ahead and create that page. We're gonna start in the WordPress dashboard again. So let's go and open up a new tab type in our URL. So this would be medicsreviews.com forward slash WP hyphen admin, hit enter, and this will take us to our dashboard. Then let's click on pages and create a new page. Then we're just gonna give the page a title. I'm gonna name this one blog and then click on publish. Again, publish. And now, just like we've done with the homepage, we need to tell WordPress that this page is gonna be our blog page. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and go to settings, click on reading. And then here under post page, we're gonna select our page that we've just created, the blog page, click on save changes. And now when we go back to our pages, we can see that the new blog page is assigned as the post page, which is what we want. Now, when we click on view here and open this in a new tab, then we can see that there's already content here on the page because we have assigned this page as our post page, but we still wanna make some changes here. So let's click on customize. And by the way, the changes that we're gonna do for the blog page is gonna be in the WordPress customizer and not in Elementor. So this might be a bit confusing, but just follow along and everything is gonna be fine. So first we're gonna change the layout. So let's go to blog, then go to blog entries, and then here change under blog style, change it from large image to thumbnail. And this way we get this kind of thumbnail design, which looks a lot better in my opinion. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back by hitting this arrow here twice. This will get us to the main menu again. Then we're gonna go to general options and go to page title. And then here we're gonna go and for, for the visibility, we're gonna hide on all devices. So we get rid of this ugly page title here at the top. Then let's go back again twice. Then let's go to typography and click on body. And then here we also need to set our default font. So we wanna set this to the same font we have on our homepage, uh, which we have set on the Elementor global settings. So I'm gonna go with Open Sans again, but you wanna choose whatever you have chosen there. So Open Sans, and then you can see it changes for all of the text. Then I also wanna change the size. I wanna increase the size of the text just a little bit. So I'm gonna change it from 14 pixels to 16 pixels to just increase the size. Then let's click on publish. And now we're gonna take care of this sidebar here. We're gonna make this look exactly like you can see it here, like I've shown you before. So let's go back and then let's go just to the main menu here. And then let's go to widgets, go to default sidebar and then click got it here. And then we wanna first delete everything here. So we start with a blank canvas. So this is kind of cumbersome sometimes. So just wanna click on these items, go to the three dots and then click on remove search. Do the same thing here, three dots, remove heading, remove these links, this group, remove the comments and also remove this text here. Again, remove. So we just are left with this plus icon. And now the first thing we're gonna add is a search bar. So let's click on the plus icon and type in search and then we're just gonna click on search here. And there we go, we already have it here. Then we're gonna add the next thing, which is the about section. So let's type in about, about me, choose this one, and there we go. Now here we can basically change some settings. So about me is fine. I can change the name right here. So let's say Sam Smith, or basically your name. And then we also wanna add an image. Now you can't really click on this button and just upload an image here. So we can we basically need to upload it to our media library and then copy the link and paste it in here. So let's click on publish first 
And then let's go back to our dashboard. So I already have it open here. You can just go to it and then we're gonna click on um, media right here. And here we're gonna upload our profile image. Now again, you could just use the profile image I've provided in the Google Drives folder. I'm gonna just use one that I have prepared here. I'm gonna use this one here. So I'm gonna drag it into the media library. And then once it's uploaded, you just wanna click on the profile image. And then I'm gonna copy this URL right here. Then we're gonna go back to the customizer and then click on the about me section and then just paste in this URL here, paste, and just like that, it has now changed. Then you can also add a description here if you want to about yourself. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it from this example page here, paste that in here. And then you can also add some social links just below this text. So you can just paste those links in here. So for your Facebook page, you wanna just add your link. So I don't really have one, but I'm just gonna, uh, type in the Facebook URL. And once you type in a URL here, the Facebook icon will already show up. The same with Instagram, LinkedIn, or all the other social media pages, just uh, paste in the URL to your LinkedIn or whatever you wanna add, and then it's gonna show up here at the bottom. Then I wanna add the newsletter signup section. So let's scroll down, click on the plus icon once again, and then type in mail. So the MailChimp uh, widget will come up. Let's click on it. And then you can see this sign up section here. So I'm also just gonna copy the text. So we're just gonna copy the text here, paste it into this text box, which will show up here. And then I don't wanna have them accept the GDPR terms. You can, if you want to, I'm just gonna delete it. And then this part will be gone. And then for the last part of the sidebar, we're also gonna add um, the recent posts. So let's click on add block, then type in recent. And then we wanna do recent posts right here. And there we go, that's all we have to do. Now the most recent posts will show up. Now, if you wanna show more, more posts here, I would actually show more. So I would just change the number here to something like six or even, even more if you want to. But I think six is fine. And that's all we need to do. Let's click on publish. And now I also wanna change the text size of the sidebar titles and also of this text here. So to do that, we're gonna go back to the main customizer menu, then click on typography, then go to first, we're gonna do the heading. So we're gonna click on sidebar widget heading. And here we're gonna change the heading to let's say 18 pixels. And then we're gonna go back and also select the widgets here. And then we're gonna change the font size to let's say 15 pixels. And this will increase the text size here as well. You can have it a bit smaller if you want to, maybe 14 is fine as well, just like this. All right, let's again click on publish. So that's it for the blog page. We're pretty much done already. And we've also already taken care of this sidebar, which will be not only shown on the blog page itself, but also on the blog post. So when you click on one of these posts here, then you can see that on the right side, the sidebar will be visible as well.